we have a special case of the superposition principle. We have three charges here located near each other, and the six microcoulomb charge located in the top right corner has a force net in this direction. And because of that, it's our job to find the value of Q. Well, if the net resultant force is going upwards here, that means the sum of all forces acting on this charge in the x direction has to equal zero. So let's find the value of the electric force between these two first. We'll pretend that this charge here does not exist. And uh, that's very hard as a superposition principle anyways. And then we can look at the effect between these two. And then we'll be able to figure out Q's value from that reason. So let's do force electric equals 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by 6 times 10 to the minus 6 multiplied by 6 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by the distance between these two in meters. So that would be 0.057 squared. And that gives us a value of force electric of 99.7 newtons. Now this charge is going to repel this value of this charge off in this direction here and also upwards. Therefore, in order for the sum of all forces in the x direction to equal zero, we know that this value here must be a negative k okay, for the q value. Okay, and we have an interior angle here. So we need to think about the value of the force electric in this direction here at 99.7 would be a repulsion going in that direction. And I want to figure out what angle we should have here then. So let's draw a dotted line. The angle theta here is then going to be equal to, well, let's see what we got here. Uh, these two angles here would then be equal to each other. Uh, this angle would equal this angle. It looks like 90 minus uh, 45.4 would be that angle's value there. And that'd be 44.6 degrees. So I know that this angle here must be 44.6 degrees also. Okay, now why did I do that? Well, I know uh, the sum of all the forces in the x direction has to equal zero. Okay, now this is a vector pointing in this direction. So I know that's going to be 99.7 cosine of 44.6. And it's going to be minus the force between these two, if I want to call this value here uh, force 2. So minus force 2. Okay, so that will give me the value of the electric force, okay, between these two here. Okay, and solving for force 2, I do get a value of 71.0 newtons. So I know that there's a 71 newton force going along this direction here. So what's happening is this force 2 acting on this charge, the 6 microcoulomb charge is pointing in this direction and has a value of 71 newtons. That will allow me to find the charge for this. So I'm going to go 71 newtons is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 multiplied by Q's value, and we don't know what it is, multiplied by 6 times 10 to the minus 6, divided by the radius between them. And it says in the figure there's 4 centimeters, so I'll go 0 0.04, and then I need to square that radius. Okay, and that gives me a Q value. Let's say that's equal to 2.1 times 10 to the minus 6 coulomb. And I guess our final answer can be written down as a minus uh, 2.1 microcoulomb charge.